Hello, 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 my fellow engineers. So I came across a small problem with using an array of enums in SQL and Alchemy while I was just doing a general day of work, which I thought I'd share with you just in case it helps someone. Just to make you aware, this video is for those with some understanding of JSON schema, Postgres, Python, and obviously SQL Alchemy. With that said, let me first explain the problem. I was asked to update a product feature to enable our clients to insert multiple items for a field but we didn't want them just inserting whatever they wanted. We wanted to give them a choice of a select few, and that's fine, we can use an array of enums for this. However, our infrastructure uses SQL Alchemy, which doesn't support array of enums yet, though I have read that this has been added as a feature in the latest version. However, I'm not sure it will cover the case I found, which I'll get to later. If it has, fantastic. Disregard everything I say about that part in the video. Uh, I'm currently working on serverless infrastructure for my company, and I think a lot of companies are moving towards this way of working in order to save on costs. Uh, so our current infrastructure looks like this. So we have an API gateway, so AWS uh, API gateway, that uses JSON schema to validate HTTP requests. Uh, this will invoke a Lambda that's written in Python and uses SQL Alchemy to speak with Postgres in the backend. Now I'm just going to walk through how an array of enums is represented and manipulated in each of these technologies. So let's say we have a table in Postgres called my fruit table, and that has a column fruits, uh, which is an array uh, of which each of the items is an enum, and we represent that as the following. So here we have specified fruit is an enum, apple, banana, orange, pear, uh, and down here in our table we have a, a column that will be called fruits, uh, which will be a specified fruit and is an array. Using SQL Alchemy, we can create a model of this table. However, as mentioned, we've come to the issue that an array of enums is not fully supported by SQL Alchemy, so a workaround wrapper class is used, and I'll link below to the documentation that suggests how to use it from SQL Alchemy. However, there's a slight change that I had to make to the wrapper class in which if one or more of the enums contains a space. So on the right here, we have our model uh, table, and on the left, we have our workaround wrapper class. Now, let's say, for example, we changed our enum value from apple to toffee apple with a space. What would, what SQL Alchemy would return with the original workaround is this string here. So you have your outside quotes that wrap this inside array, but inside the array, there are double quotes surrounding toffee apple. Uh, so what you would end up is when you split on this delimiter, the comma here, you would end up with a string of banana, and that's fine, but you'd end up with uh, a string which had double quotes wrapped around toffee apple. So simple workaround, for well, added to the workaround was just stripping the double quotes there. Uh, and then everything should be peachy, no matter what you set your enums to. The final area you'll need an array of enums to be represented, if you're using an API gateway, is the JSON schema for validation, which looks like this on the left. This should allow the correct data to pass through uh, and in fact, with any of these things, you can use a, uh, a cool little tool called JSON Schema Validator.net that allows you to test the schemas you create. So here I'm using JSON Schema Validator.net and I've put in the schema that I'm trying to test. Uh, and on the right, I'm just put, gonna put some data to validate against. Now you can already see that there are no errors found this JSON validates uh, against this schema. However, we start to change a few things here we can try and test and see what would break. So if I put orange, we know that should pass, great. However, I don't really want any papayas to be written. So let's hope that that doesn't come through, great. We've got an error found, it says value papaya is not defined in the enums here. So that's that's what we're using here. Um, and that's it, so what, hopefully that's given you some insight to how array of enums are used across a varied amount of technologies um, and I hope it's helped. If you have any questions leave, leave them in the comments below and I'll catch you on the next one.